Hey friends, we're Joe and Emily. And these are our dogs, Honey and Bayleaf. We bought this vintage Toyota RV because we fell in love with the funky aesthetic and we wanted to be able to travel and explore the country. You can listen to this, ASMR this stuff. Unfortunately, those plans were halted when we discovered a dangerous amount of water damage. So we began the impossible, repairing and renovating anything that was questionable. As it turns out, the entire motorhome was questionable. But we continued to pry away at all the work, finding little gems that kept us motivated and making sure to have fun along the way. Wait. After many hours of strenuous work, we had finally welded together a brand new frame to make sure that this vintage RV actually holds together. It took the help of our amazing friends, Kels and Jay, to decide a complete teardown would be the best way to move forward. And to keep this Toyota camper away from the salvage yard. We have made a ton of progress and it is finally starting to look like a home again. Join us this week as we attempt the impossible to attach the other three walls and finally enclose this RV. Today is big day number two. <laughs> Different big day. We're gonna put the other giant wall of Phylon siding on. Last time it was borderline catastrophic because of the winds that we had. This time, it seems all right. No winds, but also no Kelson J. That's true. So we, Please, if you're watching this, send us good vibes and good luck from the from your side because we need all the, the help we can get right That's now. That's right. A wise man once said, this RV ain't gonna build itself. To get the next fiberglass sheet on, we needed to get the RV into position, remove the driver's side mirrors, and recruit a small army of friends and family to help because dealing with a nine foot by 22 foot sheet of Phylon has so much potential to go wrong. It was easiest to work on only half at a time. Rolling on adhesive to both surfaces and letting it tack up is critical for it to bond correctly. We recommend someone tall to help press the fiberglass to your rig and avoid any bubbles. My brother Jack came in at 6'10 and he was the perfect candidate for the job. We were beyond thankful there were no winds fighting against us. And with the first half done, the second one went on even smoother. Oh yeah, this tool for rolling out the bubbles and adding pressure was a huge help. Yeah, I think I'm ready. This part is always the most gratifying. And the full suit is not just for looks. Dude, I can't get over it. It looks so good. Well, both sides are done. Now it's gonna be the rear wall, front cab over wall, and then the roof. With the two larger, difficult sides done, we could move on to the rear end. The trees, they are singing. Huge thank you to our good friend Mike for helping us out. Moon of a song. And the wind is gently ringing, the bell that brings the morning. Okay, little update. We got the back phylon piece on. Everything was great, it was much easier than the rest, but I forgot to press record, so that's the finished product. And now it's time for the front, which, I don't know, it 
We always think it's going to be easier and it never ends up being that way, but we got to back it out to access it, otherwise it's going to be a little tight, so fun. The red leaves are falling. It was time to move on to the last and final piece of fiberglass. This means we will be so much closer to having a little home sealed up for the first time since we bought it. The dogs will be howling in the early morning light. All are happy to be out in the ending of the night. Pretty sick. All right, yeah, the game plan for this one is to do it in two halves. There's gonna be the top half. We're gonna lay that on first. And then the second half, which is this radius, the cab over. Uh, Mike had the idea of laying boards out on top so we can bring the entire fiberglass sheet up and then pull boards one by one to let it lay down smoothly. That way it doesn't stick because this stuff does not peel apart once it's like adhered. So well, that's the plan. Welcome on the dawn. This is it. Any final words? We'll see. Final we'll see. last words. We'll, we'll see. This is it. And just like that, the last piece was attached. Welcome to Arts and Crafts with Emily. <laughs> Just kidding. But if you do know me, I love crafts and I love to crochet. And the past couple weeks, I've been working on this fun little granny square sunflower pillowcase. So here it is. a good amount done but we're gonna take a break and we're gonna make one of our favorite recipes and we are going to get our ingredients ingredients from the garden through the arbor in the garden room wings are beating You know, there's something just so special about being able to connect with nature and experience it giving back to you. Both becoming the garden always provides. Here's a little natural way to wash your veggies. Just let it soak in a little baking soda and vinegar and then give it a good rinse with water after five minutes or so. And so you're gonna put all of your tomatoes in a baking dish. This is kind of uh, adapted from that viral TikTok feta pasta. So you're gonna add that block of feta. The only difference is you dump all the veggies from your garden in there. I also roasted up some carrots on the side because you can't go wrong with that. And especially with balsamic and honey drizzle, it was basically dessert. After energizing with all that delicious pasta, we were ready to take on the final piece of this project. Okay, I kid you not, I have been waiting for this for such a long time. This is the, the moment where this thing actually finally looks like a motorhome. Emily is doing the honors. If you can't tell. So here's your here's your magic tool. Mic check. Uh, my nope. check. <laughs> I can't wait. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, hey. not bad.
As we began cutting out the last of the two remaining windows, we saw, for the first time, a distant light at the end of the tunnel. We had a flood of hope and motivation just filling our cup. Until next time, friends, thanks for being here with us.